Okay, so now your gorilla should have a brow and some eyes. We're going to do the nose. So you're again going to use a, um, this is a 5.5 .5 hook, and you need three stitch markers. Four, two, nope, five. Nine. Okay, so you're going to find um, the row that's right under the eye here, this row, and then the row in front. So the row in front, you're going to find and mark the center stitch right between your eye, which is this one. And then both hooks here. Then you're going to find the one that is in the row further back, but kind of like off to the side one, which is this one. So again, try and get both hooks. Do the same on the other side. So the one further back, it should kind of be where your eyes are. Turn it. Yes, but I need both of the stitches. I'm very fiddly on the minis. There we go. And then you're just going to find the one that's like one or two between, again in the same row as the first stitch marker you placed, so it kind of makes a triangle. And also do that on both sides. There we go. Double check your layout kind of makes sense. Here we are. And then again, get your 5.5 millimeter hook, and you're gonna go into the first one from the outside inwards, which should be your normal direction. Grab your contrast yarn, leave a nice long end, and pull up a stitch. And then you're gonna HDC three into this back stitch under the eye. So I'm actually gonna undo my stitch marker. So I'm gonna yarn over, Go into this stitch, pull up a stitch, go through all three, yarn over, go into the stitch, all three, yarn over, go in, pull up a stitch, all three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the head around so the snout is facing away from me. I'm going to enter this middle stitch from the inside to the outside. This is important to kind of shape the nose. And I'm going to slip stitch into here. I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. It's a bit fiddly with such a tiny hook. Then I'm going to turn it back around so that the face is facing me, the snout. And I'm going to go an HDC three into this stitch under the eye. So one, two, and three. And then again, turn the head around, undo this marker and go in from that side so inwards towards the nostril and slip stitch through all of them so now you see you should have two nice nostrils you can leave a relatively long end if you like um, and kind of undo that. use it to shape the nostril for example if you want to like pull this part in the middle together a bit more to shape them more or um, pull back apart in the middle but it should work out pretty well and then you'll just weave in the ends make sure to pull them pretty tight to pull the nostril down on the sides Ugh. so pull that tight fine line goes in pull it down I'm just gonna weave this in And then I will weave in the other side. Usually try to weave it in a bit further forward. That kind of pulls the side of the nostril down. So go in a bit further forward. And 
and then there we go my eye problem that's from the color swap that i didn't tighten properly while i was making it but you can always fix these things up later um just like going over the colors so cut off the leftovers defuzz it a bit if you're a chenille user and there you have a little gorilla face with nostrils and a brow.